Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. So glad you're here in my craft room with me. So I'm here to share my next project with you, which is going to be the start of a new journal. And this is going to be my design team project for Studio 28E. And I'm using two of Sherry's digital kits. So this one here is that I've already cut it out, <laughs> as you can see. And I have um, started on the pages in the cover here. So what I did for this one is I printed the cover, printed what I wanted on the cover on a manila, a piece of manila folder. This is just a piece of manila folder that I cut out to the size I want. Well, actually I printed, you know, on it and then I cut it out. So here it is front and back. That's the front and back in the digital kit. So isn't it pretty? And it's already a nice sturdy, you know, cover that way. And then here are the pages. Hey, and by the way, I got some new lights. You see them up here. <laughs> I found these in Walmart yesterday. They're so cute. They're little daisies. If you want to get some for your craft room, why not have something fun, right, in your craft room? That's what it's all about in there, right? <laughs> so uh, anyway, they, they're little light-up daisies. They had a few different ones in the Easter section at my Walmart. So those were my favorite. They had some bunny ones, and I almost got the bunny but, you know, you ha they have a little button that you can press and it lights them up and you can see what they look like. The daisies were really the prettiest, so I got the daisies, believe it or not. I didn't get the bunnies, <laughs> but maybe the bunnies will have to come next. But anyway, or before Easter's over. Anyway, for right now, I have daisies and I, I think they're super fun to have here in my craft room. So, and the other ones I have here too, uh, the other ones were just a string of regular little, um, you know, lights that I had picked up at Walmart at Christmas time. So, you know, why not change them out <laughs> once in a while and have some fun? But anyway, here is the pages that I have so far. So I'm going to, let's see, how shall I show these to you? Let's open it up like this. And these are printed. Let me see, I think I printed them all double-sided, yeah. So let's just do a little flip through and I'll show you what I got, what I have here. So I have, look at this, how pretty. This is like ledger paper with butterflies and the little ladies here. And here's the other side, so beautiful. Looks like uh, wrapping paper, like vintage. It really looks like vintage wallpaper to me, but it could be also be wrapping paper. But anyway, that's that one. Here's another lined. This one has very light lines on it. So, uh, like, say if you were writing on this one, you wouldn't have to write on the lines. You could, or you could just write all over it or do whatever you want on here. It's printed on, this is resume paper. So it's nice, sturdy paper. And there's the other side. Isn't that pretty? And see, these are going to be, let's see, how did I put this? Yeah, I just want to put them back in the same order that I have them in, if possible. Here's this page again. And here's the other side there. Very beautiful. I think I rounded some of the some of the corners I see I rounded already and some I haven't. We'll see what I do with that. I don't know if I'm gonna round all the corners, but I might. This one's just some beautiful butterflies. So I love the colors in here. I mentioned in January that I was in the mood for making blue something blue so that's why i picked out this kit i wanted to make something blue and i wanted to do something with the ladies too so that's a reason i picked out that and uh so i printed quite a few of you know to get back to back some some will be a duplicate but some are different you know i just printed out you know double-sided this is a very beautiful one, lined one here. See, I love this one. I so I printed this one quite a bit, I think. But there's some some pretty girls there. I love this one too. This this uh, kind of ledger looking one. So I printed that one a few times. I'm sure. There's another lined one. Very pretty. Look at even in the middle, it looks like it was in a, in a book before, like I took this out of a book or something. I think that's so pretty, the way that Sherry does that in her designs. Look how beautiful that one is with the border and the lines there. Love this butterfly one. And then here's this one. 
Okay, so that is the pages that I have so far, quite a lot already. And then I have these pieces that were in this kit. Let's see if I can get them all together here. I kind of floated over there a little bit. So this kit is right here, all the little uh, rest of the pieces, like the ephemera and things. So there's things like little pieces like this. This is going to be a little pocket, probably. You know, you fold that down and then you fold the little flaps together. Little decorations like this. They look like little doilies. And another one of those. Here's another pocket. You see it goes like this, I think. And then you fold the little flaps over and make yourself a little pocket. This is a little, um, kind of like a little strip of decoration you can put on a page. Use it for a little belly, mini belly band or something. But these are also all printed on, most of these I think are all printed on the resume paper too. Look at this one here. This looks like a little receipt or something. So pretty. And it's blue. <laughs> Uh, you saw that. That's a pocket. I think you saw that one. Here's a little picture. Isn't that nice? I love I love little pictures. I'll have to put that on cardstock or something. Oh, this is the side of this one. That was a, just a mistake on the other side. But this will be glued down onto something. But it's just a cute little picture. I love little pictures like that. You know what I mean? That I can use and make them look like real pictures. Some doilies. Here's some little like buttons. Isn't that cute? Little buttons. See, you saw that one. Here's, oh, you saw the receipt. These you saw. Let's see, what else haven't you seen? These two little pieces here are really cute. Aren't they? They look like little cards or something. You saw, pretty much saw these. Yep. Okay, so that is the pieces from the kit. I did print out a couple of extra, I told you, like I think I told you I like the wallpaper looking one, so I printed out a couple more of these, just, this is see, plain on the back, so I can use that if I want or something. See, I did print out three extras of those because I love that one. So that was this kit, which I will have linked below in my description box. And then I also got Sherry's Ephemera, what she calls her Ephemera. She has two ephemera kits, and there's like a number one and a number two, I believe, and I'll have this one, this particular one. I'll have a link below because it's really cool. I've used both of them, and they're both really cool. This is a little, uh, kind of like a little envelope cover, you know, the front, and there's a little piece there on the back. So I'll just kind of flip through these real quick so you can see what they are. This is a postcard, like that's the front. Yeah, that's right. It's upright. That's the front, and this would be the other side if it was a postcard, something like that. Here's a little, uh, just like a little report. Here's some little other little pieces. Well, these are bigger pieces, but I can fold these up, and they can be written on the back, or I can tear them up, use them for collage, whatever. This is a little piece here, like the back of a, well, it says teacher there. Absent is a little report from a teacher little kind of, I might have print the, printed these out smaller than they actually are. And this is a little, little like a ticket of some kind. But just fun little pieces of em uh, ephemera. Here's the, see this is an envelope and here's the front of it. And here's the back. So let's just flip these through these a little quicker. So you can kind of see, see the different colors of, you know, the browning type vintage look look to these very pretty as front and back of that one here this is a cool one like the cover of a sales book like a salesman's little notebook isn't that cute with the little staples there love that one gasoline purchase permit library looking cards that library card i think that looks like a library card right <laughs> and these little pieces here just fun stuff here, I'm gonna, I need to go a little quicker. I'm not, not going to get through this right. Just kind of like fun, all kinds of fun little goodies. I love this green one. Isn't that cool? And what else? All these. Oh, here's a pink one. Let's look at this. Like a little check here. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. It's so cute. 50 cents. <laughs> it says 50 cents on it. Sorry, I'm shaking my table. <laughs> okay, so these... I don't know if these came in here or not, did they? 
I have to look at the kit again because I printed a, co a couple things from, let's see which way is up. They must have come in here though because they're with this. So anyway, they're like little tickets. Cute. So I have that size and I have some bigger ones right here. A little bit bigger, not big, but you know what I mean? A little bit bigger than those right there. And so, yep, let's see what else. See, just all kinds. I, I, I'm going to have to challenge myself to use all of this, too, because there's a lot here. This continuance of family allowance. <laughs> Here's a letter, vintage letter. Isn't that neat? The front and back, I can cut it in half or fold it like that. I could use this as a page. It's got white on the back, though, so I'd have to coffee dye it or something, which I'm not opposed to. I have done that before. So let's see. Here's uh, instructions, vintage instructions. Probably the, she does put a lot of the fronts and backs. So like this might be the front and that might have been the back, those instructions. So it looks like I did print these out maybe at two different sizes because I, I think I'm repeating here. See, here's the instructions again in a bigger format and the letter and things. So yeah, I think this is a repeat of what I just showed you. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to be working on. And I have been getting this organized for the last, I've been trying to work on it here for the last few weeks, but just now getting to it. But here's my little basket I've been organizing things in. So here's what else I have. I have this little tassel that I think could go with this. This is one little mini one that I made. Here's a little bow on it that I made on one of my Tassel Tuesday videos. So that is ready to go. Super cute, right? <laughs> and this is gonna be a little journal. So let's see, where did it go? Here it is. So it would be on the front, maybe hanging off the side or something. That would be cute, right? I think that will go. And let's see what else. I have my little tag here that I made one of these little tags for 52 tags. And so that can go in here. It's got a lot of blue on it. So I think that will go. So I had that in the basket here. And I have some extra little vintage uh, lace tablecloth pieces that I might be able to use. Some more of the sheet that I used on that tag that I just showed you. So that's some of that sheet in those colors. Had the light blue and other colors that I thought might go. Here's some blue and white gingham that I might be able to use for something. And here is some light blue seam binding. And this one folds in half. See if you um, unfold it, it goes like that. So this, all of these, I've never bought new seam binding or, you know, this kind of stuff. I've always, everything comes from a thrift store. Um, I did put some of my little white butterflies in here in case I wanted to remind myself to use these. In case I find something that this will go on to. So these are the little white butterflies from Dollar Tree. And they have a little pearl in the middle. So I have that ready. That's a small more, more tablecloth. This is some ribbon that, even though it's not the same blue, it's kind of almost got a lavender look to it, but it goes really well with blue. So I have that in here, and it's a really pretty ribbon, even if I just end up using it for a tie closure or something. Or I can make little bows with that to, you know, decorate. Um, here is some seam binding, just some light blue in case that goes. Just a strip of the sheet that I had from something and, you know, working with that sheet. And I thought, well, that can be a tag topper. So that's in there. Some extra blue cardstock that, um, you know, it is blue so I can make some tags. Some extra seam binding here that uh, I haven't even opened yet, but it's blue. And I was like, well, let me put that in there. So I remind myself that I have that. These, I just, I don't know why I thought... I kind of forget to use these sometimes. I probably just put these in here to remind myself, don't forget to use these <laughs> type of thing. And uh, let's see, some of my little doily, white doilies from In Love Arts. Oh, I've got some, some. <laughs> see, I could just pile stuff in this basket. And it wasn't even full or anything. It's just as I was through the last few weeks, as I've been thinking about starting this journal, I've been just throwing things in this basket. So I've got a couple of little uh, rick racks here of regular size i'll try to avoid the glare for you but see it's a regular size and this is a little baby one oops let me show you the little baby one they're so cute love the little baby rick rack and then just some cardstock look i even through what is this a little label 
that is blue. And this is left from another project, but it was blue, so I threw it in here. <laughs> oh, here's another piece of ephemera from that ephemera kit, but just a black piece of black. Instead of throwing it in my scrap bin, you know, I threw it in here. Maybe I can use this type of thing. And instead of putting it in my scrap bin and forgetting about it. And then just some blue. So my that's my blue uh, dyed paper. This is my tie-dye paper. Here's some coffee dyed. Here's the paper I was playing around with. Uh, I think I was, I don't know what I was doing, but it has a nice design on it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's just me playing around with my colorings. A little flip up here. Oh, and this has some lace dyed on it, so I, I didn't want to throw that away. A glassing bag and a little piece of something from my scrap bin that I thought maybe I better try to use it. And just some, this is, oh, this is just more of my blue paper. Yep, so there you go. That's everything that I have put in my little organizer basket here for me to use in this project. So stay tuned to see how this all comes together. And I will try to do my next video uh, and work on it some more on video. And so I will see you all then. So I'm hoping you have, I hope you have, are having a great week and that you will continue to have a great week this week and things will just get warmer and <laughs> we won't have to worry about losing our electricity or ice storms or anything and other crazy stuff that's been happening, uh, snowstorms and everything. So thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed my little uh, beginning here of this new journal and, th and I will see you next time. Happy crafting.